الآن نستعرض في خلال دقيقتين ما هو ما يسمى بغسيل الكلى والحقيقة ليس بغسيل الكلى ولكنه الاسم الحقيقي هو ضيلزة الدم ضيلزة أو الضيال الدموي لأن لا يوجد غسيل للكلى احنا لا نستخرج الكلى من البط ونقوم بغسلها لكن it is filtration of the blood and removal of the toxin by this filter so I will go to the other side just to demonstrate that part here of this operation we call it arteriovenous fistula what is arteriovenous fistula? it is connection between artery and vein and after operation about four to six weeks after surgery there will be a very big vein here as you can see that vein is dilated why it is dilated? because the arterial pressure is transmitted to the venous pipe it is arteriovenous this dilated vein is the part which we cannulate it we do not cannulate artery directly because it, this is full of complications and then notice that there are two tubes one of them is connected to the so called arterial side of the arterial fistula that is the one with the red color it transmits the blood of the patient to this filter that's the filter like the filter which used to clear or clean the water which you drink but more complicated the filter is formed of millions or thousands of small fibers inside the fibers uh, the blood passes from this side and comes out from the other side the blood which comes from the other side is the clean blood the blood which comes from the patient the red one to the filter is the blood full of toxins passes through the filter the filter removes these toxins and waste products and hence the blood coming out from the filter is the clean one and that clean blood will rotate and come through the venous part which is blue color to the patient so we have blood from the patient to the filter dialyzed and the blood from the filter to the patient clean this process continues for three to four hours three to four times per week and this is a so called hemodialysis it is one of the ways to treat chronic renal failure the other way is to do kidney transplantation